I've personally spent over $1 million just this year alone testing both standard shopping campaigns as well as performance max campaigns and I've tried countless number of strategies to see what works the best. In this video, I'm gonna reveal my newest and fairly easy, so to speak, Google Shopping ad strategy to sell more in 2023 and onwards. The main reason why I came up with this kind of ad strategy compared to the ones before is because of simplicity. Because the reality is CEOs and CMOs, we have a lot of things on our plate and kind of spending hours and hours in our Google Ads accounts is really not realistic, which by the way is one reason why you should be working with an agency like ours, but more on that later. And this new approach, which I developed is focused more on reducing the total amount of manual labor that is required when it comes to shopping campaigns, such as optimizing too frequently or doing certain things within the setting section or adding a certain level of products. These are all things which make it very difficult for a shopping campaign to scale for long periods of time. So this brings me to the three main reasons why I developed this strategy. First one, this reduces the chances of risk. When you're launching your own shopping campaigns, and especially if you launch multiple shopping campaigns, I've seen this happen often where you end up accidentally putting one product or multiple products into various different campaigns and they all start running at the same time, which leads to a lot of internal competition, which means you're bidding against yourself. We don't want that, this strategy. The second thing this really does is it makes management easier because now you don't have to deal with 50 different shopping campaigns or 50 different strategies that you implemented within the shopping campaigns. This makes it very simple to manage those. Third main thing, this actually ends up increasing your chances of success and skill long-term for your e-commerce brand. Because again, this strategy revolves around the approach of less is more. This strategic approach is now focusing more on what's already working while giving what isn't working a chance to potentially start working at a great level. This directly brings me to the actual approach, which is the three, two, one launch strategy. And I'm going to be using this e-commerce brand, which is under my Google ads agency, your remarketing, which by the way, if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at gururemarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But the three, two, one launch strategy essentially says you should be launching three different shopping campaigns two search campaigns and one display discovery or YouTube campaign. So a total of five different campaigns. Now we only have four different campaigns running here because the fifth campaign it's in progress, but we started working with this brand only a few days ago. I'm recording this video on the 30th of June, but we started working with this brand on the 18th of June. And since that time period, if we just compare it to the previous time period, I just want to show you this strategy in action. First things first, in terms of the ad spend, we actually reduced the ad spend by 23%, which a lot of e-commerce store owners, they might think that this is not good because again, you want to spend more money if you're making money, right? Well, the thing here was conversion tracking was a big mess. And as a result, their ad spend, it was getting inappropriately spent on the wrong things. They were actually losing money at that level of ad spend. So we had to decrease it first. Despite decreasing that ad spend, here's what happened to the overall conversion value an increase of 59% we're running this at a 51% increase in ROAS it's almost at a 5x ROAS pretty soon it will be going towards a 6x ROAS but the 3 2 1 launch strategy here's how it works you want to launch three different shopping campaigns it's up to you whether you want to launch Pmax campaigns all of them or standard shopping ideally what we do is we launch one Pmax campaign to test all the products which essentially is this campaign right here we launch another Pmax campaign for the best seller so now this pmax campaign because we just recently started working here this is the testing campaign once we find products in here which are going to do extremely well we're going to launch another pmax campaign and transition the products from this pmax into the new best sellers pmax campaign because again we want to make a new pmax only for those products doing the best and the third and final shopping campaign which in this case i prefer to have it standard shopping is the catch all shopping campaign essentially what the main job of this catch all shopping campaign is is to run at a very low bid and basically catch all of the products which fall through those other two pmax campaigns where they might not be winning products within those two pmax campaigns or the bids within those two pmax they're just not working 
for this shopping campaign. So you can either launch this at a manual bid or a target ROAS. In this case, we launched at our target ROAS that's extremely high, 500%, and we did this on purpose so that all the products which don't end up working in those other two campaigns where they're getting tested can end up potentially getting a few extra sales here. The second kind of step within this is the search campaign side of things. Now, this video is more for shopping, so I'm not really going to go too in depth into that. But basically, you should be launching one brand search campaign for the middle two and one dynamic search campaign or a prospecting search campaign, meaning a search campaign for collections or for products. That's entirely up to you. But that is one of the shopping strategies I do recommend in my other videos on my YouTube channel. But again, if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen.